did we meet? I'm sure everybody wants to know what is the initial story. Your story always has extra things that you yeah. Okay, I have grown to accept that. You're not very romantic. How? <laughs> How can I say? <sighs> and I'm okay with it. Such efforts. I'm okay with it. Okay, I'm going to say mine also. Oh, yeah, and uh, I've grown to accept that, and I'm cool with it. Because, no, do you know why? Because yeah. when you do make an effort, yeah. it makes it extra special because I know that it's out of your you're character. You're covering now, you're covering no, but, now. No, but, but baby, that's, that's the thing, though, about mm. marriage, yeah. is that as things go by, you learn to appreciate certain things. Even things you're like, how, oh, but... The fact that you made an effort because mm. it's something that is it's not really you it's yeah. not your character yeah. but you make you go an extra mile to True. show to show good to help baby I'm so hurt. and then and then i accept that and i love that okay <laughs> <laughs> i'm going to try i'm going to take lessons uh are they lessons i don't know romance? i don't <laughs> i don't know <laughs> <laughs> okay. When you see the I've learned to accept that. What a wooswa. How? Joking, guys, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking for my secrets. Like. Okay, I've learned to accept to go to. No, you're not an early riser, you know. No. I won't uh -huh. I won't get an early tea, uh -huh. cup of tea, those kinds of things. In fact, I'm the one who wakes up first in my home and I've learned to accept that. In fact, I, I think one of the big reasons that I've learned to accept it is that the Bible talks about that we have to love our wives the same way as Christ loves oh, the church. Yeah, so we have to lead by example. So I have to wake up first. Oh, but yeah. But, uh, but uh, oh, yeah, well, she, she, she's not that vibe. Uh, no, we tried. No. It's not working out. Yeah. I'm a late sleeper, though. No, I, but I'm just no, not an early riser. No, no, no. She wants. She wants. I hate morning flights. I don't do morning no, flights. No, no, no. She's like, I don't know what to do. I'm going to go to my port. Yeah, and, and we're good. I think that I learned to accept is very important in relationships. And she, uh, I'm, taking on, I'm, I'm speaking on camera now because <laughs> most of the conflict comes from that. You know, there yeah. are things that we have to confront mm -hmm. uh, uh, with each other that can be changed. But there are things that we also have to learn to accept about each other uh, because we love each other, man. You know, I think even Christ there are things that he knows that ah these ones I when they go to that corner because of figure about bed you know but because of the love I think that's why uh, okay let me stop right there but it's important that we learn to accept some things about each other because we, there are things that we really can't change but we can live around them and make sure it's a, I think it's a, it's it's accepting a person the way that he or she is and loving them still yeah. Okay, I will always remember the things that you do for me that are not on your natural abilities. That you just do for me because you know that I love them. Because that make me feel special and I know that I'm really, really loved. You know, so the sacrifices. Mm. Which one? No, so they, they, they didn't say uh, I must mention it, you know. Which one? You know, earlier on, I spoke about the fact that you're not an early riser. Yeah. But there are mornings where you'd wake up early and do breakfast for me. Yeah. I know that it's an, it's it's an, effort. It's an effort, yeah. yeah. And I appreciate those things. They make me feel special. Yeah. There's a list of them. Yeah. <laughs> um, with me, I'll always remember the way that you were there for me when my mother passed away. Because it made me, it made me see that I'm not alone, that I have you by my side. I remember that there were nights when I couldn't 
and fall asleep. And he would sit, he would sit with me. Mm. Mm. And you'd sit with me until, and you'd even found a way to make me fall asleep. You'd massage my head, mm. and that would help me fall asleep. And you'd wait for me to fall asleep before you'd actually mm. put your head on the pillow. And I always cherish that because it just, I don't know, it just mm. made me feel like I'm not alone, that you're there with me, and you're walking a journey with me. And mm. I'm so grateful for you. Thank you're welcome. <laughs> Yay. In the 15 years that we've been married, uh, I learned so much about myself and also about my wife and about our relationship. And I'm really grateful for the years uh, with this beautiful person next to me, a, wife, a friend, a wife, a mother to my children. And I really am looking forward to, to the more years with you, together with you, but I've learned so much about myself, the good and the bad, mostly the bad, that I had to change about myself without even someone telling me, you know, I think getting married is, getting marri married is, uh, it take, you go through a lot of learning, especially about myself. I just mentioned one thing that I learned about myself, I learned that I'm selfish, and I had to learn to allow people to my space. And, you know, firstly, my wife, and secondly, my children, you know, I, had, I learned that it's not about me, but it's about us, about the family. I have to prioritize the family in everything that I do, in every decision that I make. And I've learned also to, 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 to improve in my prayer life because I have to pray for my family, you know. And there's no way this thing will su would succeed if uh, me as a man, I don't pray for my family. I have to spend time praying for my family when I'm alone, you know, pray with them. You know, not only do I pray for them, but I also have to pray for them. And other things that I've learned that it's important that my children see me pray for them and hear me pray for them. Angisho Peluguti now when you're praying in your closet, you're shouting so that they can hear <laughs> that you're mentioning them. But they just need to know that daddy prays for us. You know, that's one of the things that I've learned uh, in my marriage and I've really enjoyed and I still continue to enjoy the company of my wife. She really is a friend and she never got boring. You know, we were <laughs> taught that when we get married, we, you know, Maspuga usually the couples, uh, people just get boring. They just become you know, but I think we have learned and tried our best to preserve the friendship in everything that we do to make sure that we, more than anything, we are best friends, you know, and we support each other. And I appreciate my wife. Thank you, baby, for understanding, you know. And good things don't always go the way you would want them to go, you know. But we have the common goal, but sometimes we make plans, we make decisions. Sometimes things just become a mess. Things don't go the way we had planned them. But my wife has never came back to me and said, you are a failure as a husband, you know. When I feel sometimes that I deserve that, but it, there are words that she won't say to me. Uh, but it's always words of encouragement, even when there's confrontations, you know, it's constructive because we're building a family together you know i really appreciate that i appreciate that you know she respects me and she knows how to talk to me and i feel i have a reason to go home after work you know there's there's nothing sad that's hearing someone saying no i don't even want to go home after work can we just drag it for another hour no, no, no. You know, I always look forward to going ho back home because of my wife. She had made, she has really made a uh, house a home, you know. So I really appreciate you for that. And happy 15th anniversary and looking forward, looking forward to more years with you and to achieving so much. And by God's grace, we've really achieved so much and we trust trusting God for more. And I thank you for partnering with me even in our faith when we believe God for the impossible and we've seen God doing the impossible Amen. and the supernatural in our lives and we trust him for more. Amen. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Um, for me in the 15 years that we've been married, I remember one of our first arguments when we got married. Um, mm. 
we realized that we argue a lot in the mornings and it was petty things like, mm. like really petty things like the toothpaste is in the wrong place the mm. toilet seat like really petty things and we realized that the reason why we ended up arguing and having um, so much conflict in the mornings was because we hadn't eaten <laughs> we were just hungry we were just hungry not angry we didn't have problems <laughs> We weren't angry. We were hungry. We were just hangry. <laughs> angry. <laughs> and we've learned, um, one of the first lessons that we learned in our marriage was never to, um, to make sure that we've eaten before we have a serious discussion. <laughs> because sometimes it's easier uh, when the stomach is settled to resolve issues and to come up with solutions um, for problems when the stomach is full because you you think clearer um your heart is also mm. more receptive and more <laughs> open as well and more joyful um so that's one of the first lessons that we've learned and i'm so grateful to god for mm. um that you found me mm. i'm truly grateful that you found me um i honestly growing up i didn't believe in <sighs> i didn't i didn't believe in love which is kind of weird because I married so young. I remember I didn't even want to get married at some point, but I still ended up getting married very young. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you convinced me, um, but I think one of the scriptures that you sent me while you were still in that pursuit, you sent me a scripture, baby. My God. The scripture that says, I think it's 1 John 4, 18, um, that says that there is no fear in love. Okay. You Amen. sent me that verse. That I verse, now, eh? Lale Lungadile, like I was sold. Mm. That verse for me was like, ah, like how does he know that I have an insecurity when it comes to love? How mm. does he know that I'm fearful um, when it comes to love? The only way that he could know that is if he is connected to the Father, because mm. the Father knows my innermost desires and my innermost thoughts. And for me, that was a revelation that you are close to the Father. And because you're close to the Father, then I can spend the rest of my life with you. Mm. Um, because growing up as a girl, it was so important for us to find partners who, are, who have a solid relationship God. with our Heavenly Father and with Christ and the Holy Spirit. So it was, I'm truly grateful to God for your life. I thank God that you have been such an honorable, honorable man. Mm. Um, you are honest mm. <laughs> too honest sometimes <laughs> mm. Mm. brutally so mm. and i'm grateful to god for mm. that um because mina i like things to be hunky dory and and smooth i hate confrontation mm. but you've taught me that um things need to be um spoken about um uh, i i would try to shy away but you you've opened up my heart to um, express myself I've learned how to express myself freely mm -hmm. I've learned that um, in you I have a home mm -hmm. you know whenever I'm with you I, I feel at home I feel at peace mm -hmm. and I'm so grateful for that Tuguti. when I'm in your presence they, mm -hmm. there isn't a hint of, of dispute or or je, torment, mm. but in your presence, I always find peace, I always find love, and mm. I'm just grateful to God for that, that I have a husband who is honorable, who is dependable, who is trustworthy, who is honest, and more importantly, who is God-fearing, who has led our family by example. On days when I didn't want to pray, I'm like, oh Lord Jesus, okay. <laughs> mm. but i'm just so grateful to god that you really do love me as christ loves the church mm. and i am honestly thankful and because of your love it is easy for me to submit to you mm. you have made it so much easier to submit and i'm grateful to god for that um thank you for loving me for that you love me mm. thank you for caring about me mm. thank you thank you for Whenever I share my dreams with you, you take them and you just run with it <laughs> and you make them your own. Mm. Um, I'm just so grateful. Thank you for believing in me, even when I didn't even believe in myself. Thank you for seeing big things in me that I, sometimes not me, I doubt, mm. but you see bigger and greater always in me. And I'm so grateful that you always, you know, you know, always 
you know, without being pushy or mm -hmm. controlling as well. But you just gently guide me into bigger and greater. And I'm thankful to Nkulungulu that you are, you have led our family so well, so, mm. so well these past 15 years. And I'm thankful to God for you. I love Amen. you. I love you. I love, love you. Love you too, baby. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Happy. 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 Happy.